Hi everyone, new CNC here with a quick update on the Encore production. Today you will see the cutting process of the acrylic plate and our new product teaser. The first step was to cut special holding elements. You can see here fixture for the part. This is just the final cut on the fixture done with 12mm end mill. Unfortunately we haven't got fly cutter yet. The main reason to do this operation is to mimic potential machine geometry errors, so the tool will always be at the same height from the fixture. This is helical entry move. This is a finishing cut for the reference hole in the fixture. So today we'll focus on that part of the end core. So let's start. This is 6mm end mill. This is first operation. It is our reference surface from which we will be measuring dimensions of all independent parts. Second operation and we are using standard 4mm twist drill. Arek used packing strategy going 2mm each cut and try to go as fast as possible. That drill cuts the holes for the future screws. They will make sure that you can pull all of the parts of the end core together. Lots of you are asking about the progress of the Encore production. As you can see the production is ongoing. We do however have two small problems at the moment. First is cutting fins in the Encore. Because we've doubled the cooling surface we created quite a lot of problems in the production which after many, many, many broken tools we finally start to overcome. We are doing everything at the same time. We completed the whole machine setup only two months ago and it's all still very fresh, as you can see. Second problem I will explain later. 6mm end mill. Here you can see cutting of chamber for all the internal parts of the end core. Please do remember that none of this would be possible without the metrology system used to calibrate our machine. So, the precision is your main goal. I'm sure you will be interested in this metrology system. By the way, cover for the precision screw is coming, it is another small modification that needs to be done. And now prepare yourselves, because in 3, 2, 1, we have Christmas time again! Na 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 na! This is our boy's favorite part of that movie. Debris are collecting that way, as lots of material is being cut in a short period of time. As the tool is water oil cooled, debris accumulate in a form of little snow mountains, because they stuck together. However, the main reason for that is lack of debris collecting system. The machine is still in a development stage, and our is constantly making small little tweaks to make it work better. 
and recently he machined a debris collecting chamber with vacuum connection. We will make, hopefully, at some point a video about that. Now we're moving to 3mm ball nose mill. This is specially made chamber to redirect water for equal distribution on fins. If you will be looking on the design one day, please check out the shape of this machining. It is one of Arek's favorite. So we would like you to have a sneak peek on our new product. This is NLAP. It is a tool which allows you to lap your CPU and IHS to improve your performance but also most importantly and crucially it will allow you to take measurements which are crucial to finish the Encore project. More on that later. This is the second program by the way. One millimeter end mill. Here we cutting the socket for the valve. This is an o-ring gap for the bitten rubber. hole is being cut for the water flow adjustment screw. Six millimeter end mill. Unfortunately the video of the, the other side of the board is lost. We are terribly sorry for that mistake. We promise we will improve. Twelve millimeter end mill. Thank you for your support. If you would like to help us even more, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.